Hello, I'm Emily Shoesmith, an author of the recent systematic review, Effectiveness of Counselling and Psychotherapeutic Interventions for People with Dementia and Their Families. As there is currently no cure for dementia, providing psychosocial support is absolutely imperative. Counselling and psychotherapeutic interventions are one form of post-diagnostic support that can be offered to both people with dementia and their families. Previous literature has reported that counselling and psychotherapeutic approaches can enhance the quality of life for both people with dementia and their caregivers. However, to date, there has not been a broad review considering the effectiveness of counselling for both people with dementia and their caregivers. Therefore, the present review updates, integrates and adds to the knowledge base by applying a specific focus on studies that deliver counselling interventions to people with dementia and their caregivers. 31 papers are included in the review and we identified a variation in both the counselling and psychotherapeutic approaches and the mode of delivery. Most interventions adopted either a problem solving or a cognitive behavioural therapeutic approach and mixed effectiveness was found on various outcomes including quality of life and depressive symptoms. The importance of customised modifications for people with dementia was highlighted consistently. Furthermore, understanding the dyadic relationships between people with dementia and their caregivers is essential to offering effective interventions and guidance for practitioners is needed. We also found that information about the cognitive impairment experienced by participants with dementia was poorly reported and is essential in the development of this research area. Future studies should consider the impact of cognitive impairment in developing guidance for counselling and psychotherapeutic intervention delivery for people with dementia. If you would like to read the full review, the paper is available open access from the journal Aging in Society.